Hi, Dan from your diary. Am I supposed to say something? You can say something. Oh, okay. And I'm Charles. See, if anything, that was excellent. That was excellent. So, um, Charles and I have been talking about starting a, a podcast, a video podcast, something, but, and we're going to do that. But right now, we're just going to do something a little more fun. It's a Friday afternoon. We're going to actually taste a couple of bourbons. Um, a couple of months ago, I got a bottle of Bib and Tucker's six year old small batch bourbon. I loved it. And now they've come out with another bourbon. And so they were kind enough to send me a bottle of the six-year-old that I really enjoyed. And then they sent me a bottle of this other bourbon that we're going to try. And Charles and I, when we're together, we enjoy drinking bourbon together. Um, so I thought we'd taste the bourbon. But the first thing I thought we'd do is this is actually one of the bourbons that we've been drinking when we're hanging out. Mm -hmm. Because it's really inexpensive and it's not bad. It's not bad. So I thought we would taste this one to start because... It's just going to go up from there. So I'm not even going to name what it is, but I will tell you that that I pay about 20 bucks a bottle for this. Really? That's it. I didn't know. So, so let's see well. what you think. Cheers. Okay. Cheers. What do you think? It's not bad. It's perfectly lovely. It's a little sharp. A little sharp mm -hmm. initially. Little softer, smoother finish, but it's a little sharp. It doesn't have a lot of complexity to it, though. No, no, but the finish isn't bad. It has a nice. But it's a little harsh at first, like right in the middle of my tongue. Yeah. Right after drink, it's a little bit harsh. But I mean, it's drinkable, yeah. um, and I'm glad you like it because you've been drinking a lot of it in my house. I just didn't want to say so, anything, you know. So this is the Bib and Tucker six-year small batch bourbon. It's ninety-two proof. The first thing is, and I commented on this when I put in the gift guide, look at that bottle. Isn't that pretty? Yeah. Like old world, cork in the top. I love that. And I it looks that. very dark here, but in the pictures, it when it's backlit, it has a nice reddish hue to it. Yes. Yeah. And feel how hefty that is. And that's, it's a pretty, yeah. pretty serious. Yes, so nice. here's how it describes the bourbon. It's aged for six years, vanilla, pecan, and chestnut. Okay. They describe the taste as vanilla, pecan, and chestnut as well. And the finish is <laughs> vanilla, pecan, and chestnut. So I think you're supposed um, to be reading this part. Oh, I see. Okay, so that's the glasses. I'm going to try them. It fulfills the promise of its nose before evolving into a warm, rich, spicy oh. sensation and leaves the drinker with a complex yet balanced and long-lasting signature. Oh, I can't read the rest of it. You oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Signature of uh, uh, chestnut finish. Okay. All right. All so right. this is the Bibb and Tucker. It's, uh, we're going to get the pricing in a minute, but I think it's running about... 45, 49, something like that. It's under 50 bucks. It's not not bad. And this is... And this is six-year-old, you said? This is six-year-old, small batch. Um, oh, we want some water. Yes. There's yours. Oh, I'm sorry. We're going to heavily edit this. Or we won't. We may not. Let's find out. We'll All find right. out how lazy we are. Or so how, how good we are on camera. How good we are on camera. So this is the six-year Bib and Tucker. Cheers. Cheers. Wow, it's much smoother. That's is that sure. smooth, right? That's very right? nice. You drink this, you can't go back to the other one. No. Because that one was fine before, but this is yeah. just smooth from start yeah. to finish, right? It's, it's like going back to standard after you've watched HD or... HD after you've watched 4K. Or like going back to like um, um, boxes of wine after you've tasted a really good $150 bottle of Cabernet. I, I never go for boxes of wine. So. Well, I don't <laughs> either, but I just am assuming. So this is pretty good, right? This is very nice. Right? This is, um, let's get a price on this. Now, do you always drink it neat? I always drink it neat. You don't drink it neat? I usually drink it with with like one cube and just a tiny splash of water. Would you like to try that? No, no, no. I mean, for these, I think it's fine like this because you, you kind of need to test it in its regular... Uh, right? I mean, but it's just really... It's delicious. Tasty, right? That's delicious. This is the new bourbon they just released. It is the Bib and Tucker six-year double char bourbon. Double char. Same beautiful bottle. But this is the double char and what does that mean? Let's taste it and we can talk about it. It has a deeper color. It does because double charm, meaning that it's 
got more of that oaky, burnt. I mean, smell that. Yep. Smell that That's versus. Nice. This is lovely, but it doesn't have much of a. When you go to this, yeah. This is much richer, much. Right. More character. Yeah. Yeah. That's lovely. Oh. Mm. I mean, this is really good. This smooth, rich, deep, caramelly flavor. And what is the, uh, what's the price point on these? So here's the thing, the six year, is this the six year? The six year is running about $47, okay. which is not terrible. No. Bourbons have gone up in price, no, right? That's not terrible. The 10 year regular is running about $85. Mm -hmm. This double churro, what do you think this double churro would cost? It's a six year, but it's double churro. Mm, I think it's gonna be somewhere in between there, probably a little, little less than $60 maybe? 55 bucks. There you go. That's a, that's a good price for that. 55 bucks. I would definitely pay $55 for that. So let's take a look at, at what they're saying about this bourbon. Inspired by turn of the century when food was cooked over an open flame, this new bourbon is aged twice to create savory, smoky notes and exceptionally smooth finish. I think they achieved that. Oh, Bitter Tiger Double Char Tennessee. is first aged for six years in the rolling hills of Tennessee in New White... O Road trip. <laughs> yes. Road trip. Yeah. Who wants to watch us do a road trip and film it? I don't care about what your answer is. I want to. All right. So the double oak, so it's followed by five months in a second heavily charged and smoked new barrel. So it's aged for mm -hmm. six years. So it's aged for six years, just like this one. Mm -hmm. And then they take it and they put this bourbon in a cask that's been heavily, heavily charred mm -hmm. for five months. So it's basically the bourbon that we liked initially, which is, and look, you can actually, I think you can even see the color difference. Yeah, I think you can. So that's delicious still. That's a really nice bourbon. Do you think that this is too much for anyone? Do you think that anyone will say it's too smoky? I don't really think so. I don't think it's too smoky at all. I think it's uh I don't think it's too smoky at all. I think it is incredibly smooth. I mean, I think I, I think the price point's a little bit higher, right? So, but so it's delicious. It though. describes the nose is a touch of smoke with immediate notes of toasted oak and dolce de leche, background notes of cinnamon and clove. The palate is vanilla, sugar maple surrounded by white smoke, hints of sweet corn and toasted cinnamon. The finish is deep and long finish with oak with white smoke and vanilla. I don't know if I taste all of that. I, I just, I find this to be smooth. Um, just a little sip kind of fills your whole mouth with flavor. Yes, it does. I'm, I'm fascinated by the uh, descriptions of the, what you're supposed to taste. As, as with wine, it's always fascinating to, to hear what, what people I mean, uh, think you should find. And, and I'm supposed, I, I would vanilla? guess that, yeah, I think I could see, I, the vanilla I could see. Yeah, all right. Yeah, yeah. So I want to try something before we go on. Yes. Um, I put a little bit of that first bourbon back into these shot glasses because I didn't have more glasses available. The bourbon whose Having, name shall not be mentioned. Yeah, but it's 19 bucks a bottle. Mm -hmm. And now you're going to go, why are you serving me the crap? No, 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 I, I see why. Because so, you want to see, now that you've had something better, So I want to taste this, mm -hmm. cleanse palates, and see if like this is still... Feels right. drinkable I'm gonna my palate after right. having the Bibb and Tucker, which, by the way, it's, it's really become one of my favorite brands of bourbon. Right? I, I love. I think it's delicious. Even even the six year not double char, but the double char is just so good. Now, do you know? Have they been around for a while? I don't know that. I I've, don't know. Their, I, I don't know. know their history. Seen them. I don't know their history. I don't think their distribution up here is is tremendous. But I've seen mm -hmm. it in a couple places. But I've asked in a couple of other liquor stores, and they don't have it. But I do know that if you go and you want to buy it on the website, you can go on Drizzly, and if Drizzly can find it, they will send it to you for a price. Even here in New Jersey? Even here in New Jersey. Yeah. All right. All right, so this is the first one. Let's see what we think of this one now. I could do without that now. 
It does seem inferior. Right, I could do without it's that. It's still now. drinkable, but but it's not this, that's for sure. Right, so there's that one. The regular six year is so much smoother, has a nice finish with a little bit of an edge to it. Um, it's a little bit caramely, but not overly so. I do right. actually taste the vanilla in this one. Yeah, it's it's noticeably smoother and has more body. From the very first sip to the sort of body of it to the finish, very nice. It's kind of like a, this sort of like an arc to it, mm -hmm. whereas the 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 inexpensive one. Some are much it's flatter. Like, it's like. Initial taste, yeah. middle taste, yeah. sharp ending. Yeah, and, and that that's the same same thing I'll, I'll say about uh, about other bourbons I've tasted too. Some of them are good parts of the way, and then you're like, mm, but the ending is bad, right. or oh, the middle seems awfully flat where it should feel more robust. Right. And uh, anyway, but neither of the bib and tuckers I think do that. No. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to try the ten and the twelves. But but let's go back to this one, which is we have ten and twelves. No, we're going to we're going to buy them ah. and we're going to drink them ah. because this is what we do. I like what we do. There you go. I mean, that's just yeah. easy, rich. Kind of makes me wish I had a cigar. Yes, actually. All yeah, right, doesn't it? it I mean, but go this is like, cigar. this is really good yeah. bourbon, huh? No, that's lovely. So, that's lovely. friends. Show the bottles one more time. This is the Bib and Tucker Double Char. It is basically the Bib and Tucker six-year-old bourbon, which is an excellent bourbon. I think it's put into a heavily charred oak cask for five months at least, five months, which gives it this smoky, rich, smooth, that extra five months makes a huge difference. I mean, and you can see it just in the color, right? I mean, just look again, we can see the color. The Bibb and Tucker six year is about $40, you can find it. The Bibb and Tucker double char, what did we say that was? 55? $55. $55. dollars um, For what quality bourbons go for these days, it's not bad. Yep. Let's talk about the proof. Uh, the Bibman Tucker, it's in, this is interesting actually. The Bibman Tucker six year is 92 proof. Oh, that's really strong. What do you think the double char would be? If the Bibman Tucker is. Uh, so is it, I, you know, I'm not familiar. It doesn't really change the proof to age it more, does it? It but just it makes does. it It does? It brings it down to 88 proof. It brings it down. It brings it down to 88 proof, which is. I don't care, but it's an interesting thing that by. Having that additional layer of process, it alters the the proof of the beverage. Smoothens costs. It's the devil's cut. <laughs> That's what it is. It's the devil's cut. That's right. This is Dan from Gear Diary. And Charles. Thanks for watching.